Hello, I'm Jeff, and this is the first of a series of short videos that should help you get up and running with making quizzes in Moodle to use in your courses. In this first video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what you can do with the quiz tool in Moodle and how to plan your quizzes before you start building them. Then in the second video, I'm going to show you the basic setup of a Moodle quiz. Jason is going to take over in video three and he's going to show you how to set up your database of questions. And then in the final video, he'll show you how to take those questions and turn them into a quiz. Before you start planning your online quizzes, you should probably think about how you're going to use them within your course. And the first question you need to grapple with is how you know that the quiz answers you're seeing are the student's own work and not something that was, say, provided to them by some other student. The answer is simple. You probably don't know. So it's time to talk about formative versus summative assessment. Formative assessment usually happens early in the learning process, is usually principally for providing feedback on the student's learning, and is usually low stakes in terms of the marks attached. Summative assessment is the check at the end to see that the learning has happened and is usually where the marks are. I think online quizzes belong thoroughly in the formative part of that spectrum. So if you think of dividing your course into introducing the material through readings and lectures and video lectures and so on, and then practice through in-class activities perhaps, or submitted work that the students complete outside of class, and then some sort of final assessments like exams or final projects, Online quizzes fit well into the introduction so that students can check that they're understanding the material, and they fit well if you're creative into the practice part, but really don't have much place in the final assessment. Although you should use your online quizzes primarily for formative feedback, and so they shouldn't have a lot of marks assigned to them, it's not a good idea to not assign any marks to them. If they're not worth any marks, your students are unlikely to take them seriously. They probably won't even do them, at which point your students don't benefit from them, and why did you spend time making them? The final thing you need to know before you dive in and start planning your quizzes is what you can even do with them. The quick answer is that they deliver questions, and then based on the students' answers to those questions, they provide feedback on learning. And it is true that you can use them to assign a mark, but I think that's quite secondary. There are quite a lot of different types of questions that you can ask using a Moodle quiz. Many of them are quite advanced. But the most basic ones that you'll probably be interested in at first are short answer, where you ask a question and the student types in an answer. Multiple choice. And matching. So the first thing you should start thinking about is which of those types of questions are going to be appropriate for checking the learning that the students are doing. Next, you need to think about when you're going to provide the feedback on the learning. The quiz tool is quite flexible. You can have them complete the whole quiz and get the feedback later. That's probably what you want to do if it's primarily about assigning a mark. But if you're giving them feedback, you probably want to give them the feedback immediately. And possibly, if they did the questions wrong, you want them now to get new questions or be able to reattempt the questions they already tried. If you're going to give immediate feedback, then you should think about what sort of feedback you're going to get. It might be as simple as that when they submit the answer, it simply tells them whether each answer is correct. Or it could give them more sophisticated feedback and tell them perhaps why the answer is correct or incorrect. And you can even have it give them hints before allowing them to retry the same question. Now, of course, when your students take your online quizzes, they're likely not going to be alone. And so you're going to get situations like this. So what do you do? 
Well, at the very least, shuffle the questions and shuffle the answers. But even better, you should make sure that each student gets different questions. Different but interchangeable. In other words, they should test the same concepts and skills. They should be probably of the same type. And as much as you can manage, they should have similar difficulty. The quiz tool actually makes it quite easy to implement multiple versions of your quiz. What you want to do is list some question types say, some set of multiple choice questions that will test some idea, and then maybe a matching question that will test some other idea, and so on, where within each of these types, those are interchangeable questions. They can be different versions of the same question, but at least they should be testing the same thing with roughly the same type of question. And then within Moodle, what you will be able to do is create categories, and you populate those categories with the questions of each type. You can then have the quiz randomly draw questions from each category so that you make sure each student gets a question from each category, but they're going to get different mixes of different questions. For example, here's the question bank in one of my courses, and you can see that I have broad topics, and each broad topic is divided into a bunch of subcategories, and within each subcategory I have a number of fairly similar questions. So there's the rough overview of how you plan your quiz. Now it's time to look in the next video at how to set the quiz up.